Hello everybody and welcome to part two of my Islandception series. So noted because we chose continents map style and among our continent we were isolated. This uh, mountain's in the way so we were stuck with just these two cities. Uh, the good news is they have a good amount of, of ocean resources available to them. Um, since we were blocked, we kind of had to favor an early optics, which means we'll get early uh, lighthouses, which hopefully will make up for that in the long run. All right, he's going to heal up. We uh, stole a worker from Yerevan and then had to uh, kill a archer because it was such a good exchange rate. You kind of can't pass that up. Going to add a hammer to the capital. Although it's going to, right around the time that's done, the work lighthouse is going to be coming online, so I'm not so sure that uh, that will be necessary. Let's see, one, two, three. Take a peek over here. Kind of want to get up on this hill just to take a look at the camp since we got a guy right on top of it. We haven't been to the mainland yet, so okay, we'll uh, carry him off of this guy here. Oh, city-state. All right, we'll meet them. Raiga, and this camp has a worker, so now we should kind of revisit whether or not to make peace with Yerevan. Um, should get the scout back over to the coast. We're going to want to see if there's another expand available to us, uh, maybe after the uh, lighthouse is done. Uh, we need it to be coastal just for the capability of um, city connections which we're not going to be able to do otherwise. Let's see here, if I go here, shrine's still done in one turn so that's okay. Um, yeah, with this mountain here we're not going to be able to establish a city connection by land any other city we form over here. And you know what, there's a landmass over here, maybe we send a scout over there and find some land over there. That might be good. So we'll have the scout check over an immediate spot, then maybe hop in the water and come check over here for immediate settle. We've got to find some place useful to settle, is what it comes down to. <clears throat> These two cities are going to end up being pretty good by themselves, but I'd, obviously you don't want a two-city uh, empire if you can help it. <clears throat> I think the cities are going to be good enough that the fact that we kind of had a delayed start at the Empire level will be uh, compensated for. Let's see, two turns to Lighthouse is finished. Still two turns, and this is better growth, so let's just do that. Actually, you know what? If Settler's coming next, maybe it is better to settle Favor Hammers, because once the Lighthouse is up, like this fish tile is going to be like four food. And a hammer, I think, or something like that. Or maybe that's after Pantheon. I don't know, but um, whatever hammers don't go to that will spill over to the settler. And who knows? Maybe that's the uh, way we shave a turn off. So uh, let's do that. One, two. Um, three. Oh. Okay, well, um, this makes settling over here probably a little worse. Uh, let's go here. As much as I'd like to get eyes on his city, I kind of, I really need to find an expand location. We're late on scouting. We're late on pretty much everything. But luckily we are England, so we move faster in the water. I'm going to go ahead and research writing next. Um, we got work boats and stuff. Like, I don't know how soon we'll be able to get libraries up. But if we are able to drop another settle, uh, city soon, we'll want that city to start building a uh, library immediately. So let's see, one, two, three, we'll come up on that. All right, Pantheon is here. God of the Sea, oh, no, 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 no. God of the Sea, still available. All right, now, God of the Sea is not going to be as good as it normally would be, just because normally we'd be dropping, you know, fishing boats everywhere we can, especially with God of the Sea. However, with uh, having to favor rush the optics, these lighthouses are going to make all the fish tiles very good, even without boats, which will free the capital up to, you know, use its production on perhaps things that are more important. Okay, this guy is damaged, and now we know why. So this is great. The two of us should be able to clean that up 
uh, pretty much right now. So take a shot. There we go. We even get a flanking bonus here. Check that out. All right. So now we have another worker. And some favor with Raiga, which is food in the capital. Very good. Alrighty, so the two people we know of, uh, the strong is attacking the weak. Alright, here we go, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful tiles. And let's see, Settler in seven. Um, this is only three foods, so we know, say if we buy this tile here, that's simply going to be better. Seventeen and six. So there we go, we just saved a turn. Now, the way food contributes to Settler's... Um, and to hammers for settlers, my understanding is your first, second, and fourth food in the city, including the city tile, including Raiga's contribution, is a hammer. And then after that, every four food is one hammer. So what that means is these fish tiles under the effects of the lighthouse is technically two hammers towards a settler, whereas these sheep are two hammers plus one food. Okay, so we know that unless this one food from going to a cattle to a fish uh, gives us another hammer, this is optimal. Um, so what we can do is buy one more fish towel right now and do that. It is more hammers, but the same amount of turns. But that's okay, because we're not missing out on, like, say, gold. So this is fine. And this is uh, going to be optimal without buying any more tiles. So let's see, one, two, three. I don't like that he's here, because I want eyes. Um, we're seeing cattle, we're seeing... Yeah, so I'm going to back up. There's a lot of hills in here. <clears throat> I want to be able to get more eyes over here. Uh, this is clearly going to be an okay city location. My biggest problem is that for tradition, it's right on top of the capital. Um, and with the Aztecs being down here, even something like this hill would be more defensible at the expense of the river and the bison, but maybe there's more over here. So I definitely want to get more eyes over there. We'll take a look as, well, as soon as we can. All right, since the uh, lighthouse is finished, this city's doing just fine as far as, like, hammers and stuff. This one could use some help. So as long as there's not a barbarian camp there... We can go put a hammer on top of this as opposed to the bison. And um, what we'll do is then we'll research mining. Yeah, we should be able to get that up quick. So maybe he'll put a mine over here just so every time the city does grow, we got a good production tile. Help it catch up from uh, the deficiencies of being so food focused uh, as far as its tile yields and such. Okay, here's hoping. One, two. Rats. Okay, well, I really want to get eyes over here, so let's do this. Okay, fish. Fish, okay. So this fish we would get from here, but not from here. And here we'd have a better tile spread relative to the capital, and we'd be much better at defending the city against the Aztecs. So we'd be giving up the bison, but we'd be gaining a fish. Obviously, that's an upgrade, because this would also be a city we would want a lighthouse in, because one, two, three tiles. <sighs> yeah. And right now, we don't have any of our own whales, so after the settler, we'll build a work boat, drop it right here. So I think this is where I want to settle. Um, unfortunately, that means the scout is going to need to be able to be on this tile right as the settler wants to land just to protect it. So I'm not sure how that's going to go, but we can find out. And then he'll come over here, because I don't... There was a hand axe over here. don't know where it went. But it doesn't much matter either, as long as the worker gets over there. So maybe we need to buy the gold tile as well. Um... So yeah, that would be another reason to research mining next. So perhaps I'll have the worker do the sheep, then buy the gold, do that, and that way happiness should not be a problem. Uh, looks like the worker's going to get over there fine, so we'll have him come here. He can see this tile heal up, then we'll come here. Since he has altitude training, we should be able to hop up on the hill. Last we knew, Yerevan wanted its worker putting a mine here, so maybe we steal that. And if we can grab one more, I, I would be okay with making peace at that point. 
Um, what we could do is actually hop in the water. We get a lot of mobility as England. Have a little bit more eyes on all these tiles. It's not a bad idea. I don't know that it's entirely necessary. Four turns. We could hop up here. One, two, three, four. Like hop over here, heal up, hop in. I don't know. Seems a little convoluted. Um, on the other hand... No, I was going to say, on the other hand, if we don't find a subtle location, we could go over there. We do want the scout going over here next, I think. Uh, as much as I'd like to see the lands around Aztecia, we might need a plan B. And if nothing else, we do need to meet other people. So, um, let's see. One, two, three gets me in the water. And I can two, one, two, three, four, one, two, land. So, yeah, let's do that just for the added visibility that it gives us more fish, but it'd be out of the range for that. So, all right, we'll go take a peek over on these tiles, see if there's anything better. <clears throat> all right, does this zone of control us? It does. That's very unfortunate. One, two, three, four. But as long as he doesn't come here, but he can see us, so of course he will. <clears throat> yep, we're kind of screwed. Uh, whoops. Okay. Yeah. Because he can see us from there, so there's no reason why he wouldn't come onto the deer tail. And yet he didn't. Oh, and Ethiopia loses its capital right when we get the ability to exchange embassies. So we have no idea where his capital is. All we can see is his new... Oh, dear. So he's just got this one city, right? Okay, so he's just probably done for. So it's just going to be us and the Aztecs on this continent, and we kind of have a stunted start. This is not good. All right. So one... That would be two, three, four. There's no way to land, and there's no way to avoid getting shot. Two, three, four. Hey, but at least we can do something over here. Okay, and the settler's not out yet, so let's land and take a quick peek over here. Maybe we can settle another city without having to tangle with the Aztecs. Because this is, this is not the greatest of cities. It's not bad. Uh, with three ocean tiles, it'll actually get to be somewhat decent. Uh, a couple of cattle, deer, some hills. And like I said, very defensible. So I like this city, but duplicate luxuries aren't as good as fresh luxuries. So, I don't know. Maybe we find something better. It's a bit of a gamble, though, because we will need somebody over there to block when we land. And we don't have anybody there now. So... Horses, huh? Two, three, four. Okay, city state. So this is probably not going to be any good. Well, we might have to make the settler wait a turn, but we should be able to get here same turn. We'll take a shot, but he should be safe. So not the worst of things. Um, we should have somebody come back over here at some point, though. Free worker, too. So, yeah, maybe the Spearman does. In that case, we should definitely make peace with Yerevan. Okay. Because we don't need them for military practice. Their land's impractical, and with Aztecs being a neighbor, I'm sure we'll have... Many opportunities for doing that. So let's just do that. And we'll have him head over. Because he's got altitude training, we'll be able to uh, heal up in our borders next turn and go from there. So he can be the one to liberate that worker. Oh, good. He made peace. That doesn't mean he's going to stay that way, but he did make peace. Okay, so now we're not producing a settler, which means we should look at our tiles. Let's do that instead of the sh sheep. And there we go. We got all of our fish in our borders, making lots and lots and lots and lots of food. Um, for this reason, it's probably time for a library. 
But we are going to need to start making a little bit of military, something to do some representation down here. So that's something to keep in mind, too. For now, though, let's get the library going, though. And that'll allow us speed up to those military techs so that we can defend this city. Um, let's see. We're going to end up here either way, so let's just come here for extra visibility. Fish is nice to know. La Venta. It is faith and culture. Too soon. Okay, and we're on the other side of the camp, so he can continue uh, scouting. And we'll have this guy come down here and help the settler settle. Um, so one, two, three, four. I mean, this is River Hill and <clears throat> two fish, horse, cattle, wheat, more hills, grassland river. Not the worst of cities. There is a bit of an overlap issue here. Oh, yeah, that's right. This fish... We were counting on that for York. But I mean, three there, two there, I mean, they can share. We, it would be nice to have a fourth city. And I don't want it to necessarily, if... I, I like to have them fanned out from the capital, and that doesn't look very realistic under the lands that we can see. So rather than double expanding to the south, double expanding to the west would make more sense. And the sooner we drop this city, if we drop the city now, the bombard and the scout can liberate this, and that frees this guy up to block over here. So rather than the library, let's make another settler. And which of these cities is going to have better production? That's going to have a whale right away. This is not going to have ocean resource, so yeah, settling that one first might make sense. Gosh, this is very stringent. A little bit of a last-minute call, but I think it's doable. And that way the spearmen can act as the basis, the base military down here. We'll need somebody over here to protect our land tiles and here too, so yeah. All right, so for this reason we'll, we'll embark here because that's technically one tile closer. I really think with the Aztecs here, it would make more sense to land here first, but based on where our personnel is, I just don't think that's realistic. So unfortunately for now, I think we'll have to settle this city first. Okay, and here's another problem. So we need to kind of lure this guy away in a way that allows our scout to get back here. Oh, crap. We're in the exact same conundrum we would have been before. So I guess I'll step here, embark, and then they'll both be able to land here same turn. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, I'm just going to leave it on the hammer for now. Let's rush that uh, lighthouse from this point. Tack. Marble. That's almost certainly a tile we're going to have to buy when it gets to that point. And we want to buy this, so we're stretching our money out. But it was worth it for the fish, no question. And this city will be able to pick up this fish sooner. And we'll probably just keep it that way. York will have to deal with the three ocean resources it's got, which is plenty fine. Okay, so this is actually not that bad, I don't think. This would be helpful right now, not only for the military, but seeing where the iron is. Because we do have hills here. Uh, keep in mind, our settler originally started here on uh, strategic balance, so it's going to be one of these hills. Maybe this one. I don't know, but we should find that out. Both so we can start making money and so we can upgrade our military when the time comes. Alright, so I think we got a plan now. I'm glad we were able to get that scouting done when we did. Okay, next policy. This makes gold too, right? Nice. Okay, I like that a lot. I was just talking about how gold was getting a little stretched. Alright, that's healed up enough. Let's embark. Um, yeah, I didn't think so. Military can't use the city tile as a canal. It's unfortunate, but what you gonna do? 
Oh, whoops, I can't go that way, can I? We'll just park it there. Actually, if he comes here right now, we can use this opportunity to heal up. So, yeah, that's better, which means he can come here now. I was thinking I was going to deprive the scout of that tile, but... <clears throat> Actually, he's got more mo Oh, no. We'll just keep it like that. All right. So we'll defend there in case we get shot. And this worker is done here. So even more hammers. Let's come over here, add more hammers. Then he can jump in the water and get started over here. It's working out. It's working out. I must say, I think it's working out a little bit. Sure. All right. So that was his capital we were on top of. Now we got a picture of it gold, which is something we already have access to for ourselves. <laughs> Put a mine there. Okay. We will oligarchy. We get to bombard from here. Very good. Production focus there. We will have to start immediately on the library, I think. Oh, very nice. We'll have the... Oh, that's right! He doesn't have to jump in the water. We got a worker right here. Durr. <clears throat> Okay. So we're actually going to have a bit of a conundrum with the workers. Because uh, we don't want this guy going too far because the horses. Um, maybe he hops in over here. I don't know. Uh, this worker should be ours next turn. So let's pass and keep on going. <clears throat> So maybe we should have stayed at war with Yaravan. My, uh, well, no, because he had to skedaddle. That's right. That's what it was. Okay, so there we go. We're definitely taking it, but we did clear the camp, so that's faith. Faith isn't very important as far as religion. Ooh, city-state. That's good to know. Okay, one, two, three, four. We'll be able to land there and just hold, because uh, the uh, settler's right behind us. So, yeah. We'll just land there and hold. Hopefully the Aztecs are not using this time to send their own over here. Iron! Look at that! Ooh, nice. And there's iron there, so this will probably be where this guy goes. So yeah, hill. Let's see, how soon? Nine turns. Alright, and how soon are you done? Four, five, six, seven. Eh, close enough. So he'll do the iron and then the horses, and he can keep doing what we we're already having him do. In fact, I think that requires us to do this now. And we need to get a military unit over here ASAP just to be able to protect this. Wait, iron. We settled on iron? <clears throat> okay. The grasslands iron. That was gra okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and build Yeah, that's fine. Okay, um, you come down here, meet that city-state. It's nice being able to embark at this stage. And then you're going to favor the cattle first. We'll put in a turn on the farm there. Um, so yeah, I think next should be a military unit to be as a blocker here. Um, spearmen would be nice. We do have iron, so warrior. Um, we might have to favor military ahead of the National College just a little bit, um, just to hold this settlement, I think. Um, let's go ahead and land. Two, three, four. Okay, so we will have to do that. That's fine. Oh, wait, workboat, so we can drop that. Okay, workboat first. And then, yes, military. Um, for that reason, archery. There we go. That's something we can research while we're building that workboat. I do need a blocker over here, but we're also going to want an archer to back him up and then send a few archers down here to uh, go with that spearman. Um, maybe get a blocker and an archer for this land mass. You know how it is. We just got to get a little something going so that the Aztecs say, hey, maybe we shouldn't attack that guy a little bit. All 
Alright, so this will be happiness and this whales will be happiness as well. We're just gonna soak it up until the bombard is here. Now you get on the cattle. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and embark. Just because we can come along here and pop up here. It's probably better for visibility, I would assume. We'll find out. As soon as we can, we'll buy into the marble because... Leventa's borders might go there. It's fourth ring. We don't know the rest of his land, so it's not necessarily going to be the... There we go. All right. That's a river, not border. So pyramids are built. That doesn't matter to us. The Aztecs can see we are settling here. And the Aztecs are also interested in our iron. Okay. This is in a, a favorable exchange rate for him, so hopefully that translates to goodwill. Meet Monaco. First to meet Monaco. Alright. Nice. Alright, so if I settle here, this will put us into unhappiness. That's something to keep in mind. Um, so for now, yeah, that's fine. We're already favoring production tile there. Um, here, we're going to grow probably next turn either way, but let's find out. Now there's that. Production focus. We do want to work this tile, but we'll do that for now. And we got to do library first. There's that. Oligarchy, thank you. Uh, we'll heal up one more turn and go from there. Yep, still going to grow next turn regardless. Um, but what if I move this guy from here to there? Still going to grow next turn. You know what? So that makes no sense because we're production focused. It will go there anyways. Let's just do that. All right, so we're a little lagging on happiness, but it's not a problem. Just finished archery, that's important. Um, construction and iron working ahead of... Alright, lighthouse is finished here. So, bam, look at that, fantastic. This is why we wanted that mine up there. Uh, so yeah, library here as well. Oh, I was just looking at how ridiculously slow the growth is despite all the food, and then I remembered we're in unhappiness. That's temporary though, we're about to get eight. Plus eight. Um, so it's hard to know the build times for these. Um, we do have starter techs for military, including spearmen. So I think we can afford to go philosophy first. It's a bit of a stretch, but... All right, there's the Monaco. Hey! Who knows, maybe this turns us into an archer. Um... Probably will want another scout at one point, even if it's not an archer. So, all right, in this city, that guy got off our tile, and he's destroyed. So let's fix that. So now we have a clearer picture of what this will be, as far as how fast the. Obviously, it's not going to take 26 turns, but probably close, because as soon as this is down, that'll be our first tile. That'll be our second. That'll be our third. But this one will have a hammer on it. Okay. Hammer there for when we grow. Border grows in eight. Border grows in five. We'll do that. Gold. Okay. That's actually not bad because, uh, yeah. So I think we should get another scout. Let's build the scout next. He can act as a makeshift blocker in the meantime. All right. Here we go. This will bring us happiness. Not fast enough, though, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, let's build a scout here. It'll only take two turns. Because um, they can embark and stuff. Um, actually, you know what? It's starting to look like we might be close to the end of this uh, mass. He can be the one to get back. Let's belay that scout order. Oh, we don't even have a library here yet. All right. We do want to do that, but let us first get one blocker. And Spearman only takes one turn longer than Warrior. And since we're not on iron working yet, let's do that. Let's see. We'll come here when it says three. Come here when it says two. Put a turn on this when it says one. Nope. Not worth it. Uh, one, two, three. So we can aim for this. Oh, it's still in borders. 
Okay, I was trying not to trespass. Okay, so this island is ours as far as city-state knowledge. And that can have its benefits. So maybe we hop in there. He's just going to sit there until it's in borders. And there we go. We are back to happiness. So let's check all of our cities for optimal tiles. It's going to be that right now. That's optimal. Uh, that is now optimal. I don't know when we got the horses in borders, but... And that's going to be optimal. Okay. And keep in mind, four more happiness is coming. So we are underway, I would say. And he is now healed up. So he can take on a light scouting duty in this area. Um, his main job is to hold Hastings from him. I'm sure he's got a superior military by no small margin. So we will have to rectify that in the coming turns. Uh, we also got to get a library up. So, well, I'll look at this. It's the half hour mark, so I'm going to end it here. I'll take a look at this and try to get an idea. I think I had a good idea already, though. Blocker, archer, blocker, archer, blocker, archer, and then probably add another archer here. And then also get the library up in time for... Um, National College. He's saying friends, but he tends to be a backstabber, so... Um, did that deal make friends with him? Kind of. He's got the light red is missing now. He's not going to like that we're settling on top of him, but we're giving him good deals on iron. Much to my chagrin. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Take care.